the mobile access work platform with Rail FAS. This system is designed to provide safe access and egress to elevated work areas, as well as providing a safe working platform. A fall arrest rail provides active fall protection for work being done outside the confines of the work platform. This system comes with the following features. A mobile fall restraint platform, a self-retracting nano-lock 6-foot SRL, a 1.17-foot D-ring lanyard web extension, and an ExoFit XP full body harness. This mobile platform system is designed for use for up to two workers with a maximum of one user outside of the platform tied off the single trolley. Two workers should never tie off to one trolley. If additional workers are required on top of the bus, additional safety measures and alternative means of protection will be required. Before each use, the user must carefully inspect the system and record the results in the inspection and maintenance log. Inspect the entire system for damage, deformation, corrosion, or rust. Look for cracks, bends, dents, or wear that could affect strength and operation of the system. Inspect all fasteners. Tighten or replace as necessary. Inspect the walking surface to ensure adequate friction exists to prevent slipping. Inspect all moving parts for chips, cracks, brakes, frays, or worn areas that could cause malfunction during operation. Verify that all adjustment points are in full functional condition and are adjusted properly. Make sure guardrails and safety gates are free of corrosion, cracks, or other imperfections which may cause malfunction during operation. Inspect and lubricate casters via the grease zerks as required. Inspect jacks for signs of damage and unsure proper function. Verify that all labels are securely attached and are legible. Replace labels as necessary. Inspect glide rail and trolley for damage, deformation, corrosion, or rust. Look for cracks, bends, dents, or wear that could affect strength and operation. Inspect all ladder rungs for cracked wells, damage, or other deformation. Ensure adequate grip remains on rung to prevent slipping. How to safely move your system. Ensure that all wheel brakes are in the unlocked position. Crank the two rear jacks until the foot pads are no longer contacting the ground. Ensure that the path of travel is free of overhead power lines or other power sources. This ladder conducts electricity. Push the ladder stand into position roughly 10 feet away from the desired working surface until it gently bumps the foam stop plates. Extend both outriggers by removing the denton pins and pulling them out until they hit the stops. Once fully extended, reinsert the pins. Lower both outriggers until they firmly contact the ground by cranking the handles counterclockwise. Lower both jacks until the foot pads contact the ground. Adjust the outriggers and jacks as necessary to level the system. Ensure the wheel casters near the jacks have no load on them and are slightly off the ground. This can be done by giving the wheel a little kick to make sure that the caster is not touching the ground. The full body ExoFit XP harness is used as a component of a personal fall arrest system. These full body harnesses are designed for use by persons with a combined weight of no more than 420 pounds. Inspecting the fall arrest system harness for indicators of impact. Check the harness's hardware and D-ring for any damage. Inspect the webbing and stitching patterns throughout the harness. Watch out for any damage that may be an indicator of impact, damage caused by welding, UV exposure, and cuts, tears, frays, or broken thread. Make sure all the connectors attach and the torsion straps roll in and out properly. Check the harness for all appropriate labels. While you are patting down your pockets, be sure that all sharp objects such as keys, pins, and knives have been removed from your pockets prior to donning on the harness. You do not want to have anything sharp in your pocket in the event of a fall. Begin by putting the harness on over your shoulders. Connect the chest strap at chest height and adjust the torsion straps for a perfect fit. Start from the bottom and grab the leg strap, then attach it to your leg with the quick connect buckles located on each side. Place a few fingers between the straps to make certain it is properly fitted. Once you have adjusted it to fit your leg, tuck any hanging slack into the end of the keeper so that any loose webbing is tucked away. And finally, check the position and fit of the rear dorsal D-ring by giving it a quick tug up. 
Ensure that your lower sub-pelvic strap is also well positioned directly under your seat. Using the system. This system can be used for both active and passive fall protection. If the intent is to leave the confines of the platform, active fall protection will need to be used. If this is the case, a harness must be donned before climbing the ladder. Gain access to the work platform by climbing one of the ladders located on either side of the system. Always maintain a three-point contact on the ladder when climbing. Keep your body near the middle of the step and always face the ladder while climbing. When utilizing the fall arrest system, try to ensure the highest point of attachment is possible by raising the leveler bar without causing any overhead obstructions. DBI Sala lanyards are to be used as part of a personal restraint, work positioning, suspension, or rescue system. Before each use of this equipment, carefully inspect it to assure that it is in serviceable condition. Check for worn or damaged parts. Ensure that all hardware is present and secure. Inspect for sharp edges, burrs, cracks, or corrosion. Ensure self-locking snap hooks or carabiners work properly. Inspect the rope or webbing for wear, cuts, burns, frayed edges, breaks, or other damage. Refer to the user's manual for further inspection details. Do not use if inspection reveals an unsafe condition. This system is equipped with a six-foot retractable SRL that can be used as restraint while accessing the bus. SRLs are designed for use by one person with a combined weight not exceeding 420 pounds. At no time shall more than one person connect to a single SRL for fall arrest applications. Pay close attention to the following guidelines when inspecting the SRL, which should be done by the user before each use. Check the locking brake of the SRL. Give it a quick tug. The SRL locking system should engage easily while performing this quick test. Inspect the webbing. Pull all of the webbing out of the SRL and provide a thorough visual inspection. Things you should be looking for are cuts, frays, and tears. Pull the SRL webbing out and ensure the SRL retracts it back in under its own tension. Inspect the snap hook and visual load indicator. There are two compatible connections possible. One, by connecting the nano lock snap hook to the rear dorsal D-ring, simply connect the SRL snap hook to the D-ring on the full body harness and give it a tug to ensure that it is securely fastened. Once properly connected, you are free to move. The second compatible connection is to incorporate the lanyard web extension for increased mobility in the event more length is required. Connect the snap hook on the lanyard web extension to the D-ring on the full body harness and give it a tug to ensure that it is securely fastened. Next, connect the SRL snap hook to the O-ring on the lanyard web extension and give it a tug to ensure that it is securely fastened. Secure the double locking snap hook to your rear dorsal D-ring of your harness only. While working on the bus, the trolley trails back and forth with the worker. Be sure to inspect the glide rail and trolley for damage, deformation, corrosion, or rust. Look for cracks, bends, dents, or wear that could affect strength and operation. Please be very cautious when using this SRL. Sudden or quick movements should be avoided during normal work operations as this will potentially cause the SRL to lock up. When working with the SRL, always allow the lifeline to recoil back into the device under control. Ensure that all of your components are compatible. Do not substitute any foreign types of self-connectors and or D-rings into this application. This system is intended to be used with the Nano SRL and the D-ring extension that's provided. Once properly connected to the SRL device, it is safe to transition from the work platform to the work surface. Ensure the step across distance from the edge of the work platform to the edge of the work surface is no greater than 12 inches. While working outside the confines of the work platform, do not leave the safe working zone. Working outside the 30 degree safe work zone is only permissible if the SRL and or lanyard limits the ability for a worker to reach the leading edge, putting a worker in fall restraint. Swing falls occur when an anchorage point is not directly above or below the point where a fall occurs. The force of striking an object in a swing fall may cause serious injury or death. Minimize swing falls by working as close to the anchorage as possible. Do not permit a swing fall if injury could occur. Make sure all wheel brakes are engaged and rear jacks are contacting the ground. Never store materials on the platform or ladder. Do not disassemble the system for transport. This video is to be used in conjunction with all user manuals provided. Additional details can be found in these user manuals.